Hi John, how are you doing today? I am fine thank you and how are you? I am fine thank you. How is your work going on? It's been pretty hard lately. Why what's the problem? Let me know, I may be able to help you. I am working on a data set to identify authentication of real and fake banknotes and having difficulty to proceed further. This seems to be a classification problem between real and fake banknotes. Why don't you use Azure ML to process the data? But I don't have much knowledge on coding. You can use Azure ML without much knowledge of coding. I can give a small demo on Azure ML. For this case, you can use classification model for the data. Can you describe what a classification model is? Classification is the problem of identifying label to which a set of categories, the new observation belongs to. On the basis of a training set of data containing observations whose category membership is known. This can be used to predict class labels. In this model it's a binary classification. John, can you give a small description regarding structural model on how a classification model works? Here you can see how a machine learning algorithm is built. This is a basic outer view on how we should build a machine learning algorithm. Now let's see a classification model structure that can be configured in Azure ML. Here you can see the structural view of the classification model in Azure ML. Now, I will show you a small demo on classification model experiment. Here I am going to use Banknote Authentication Dataset from UCI Machine Learning Repository for this demo. As you can see here the dataset information and attribute information is provided in detail. Here I am going to perform classification analysis on class using two-class boosted decision tree algorithm. Can you describe how you categorize dataset features? In this case, Banknote Authentication Dataset consists of five labels out of which four are continuous data and one is integer. The labels in a dataset can be classified into two types independent and dependent. We need to perform analysis on dependent labels. Before you start Azure ML demo, can you tell me some of the advantages of using Azure ML? Azure ML is the new Azure service which reduces the complexity of machine learning process. And one of the main advantages of Azure ML is the possibility to develop machine learning models without writing code. Here you can see the some of the main advantages of Azure ML. Now let's proceed with creating an Azure ML experiment. To create an Azure ML experiment click on new button and select blank experiment. Now enter the dataset name in the search bar and drag the dataset to the canvas. Make sure to add the dataset to Azure ML before searching. Make sure to rename the experiment and give an appropriate name. Now search for edit metadata and add it to the canvas. Now click on launch column selector button and select class column. Here change the categorical option to make categorical. Now search for the split data model and add it to the experiment. Make sure to change the split ratio to 0.8. To perform the classification, search for two class boosted decision tree model and add it to experiment. After this we need to add a train model to train the data for the prediction process and then connect the model to split data and two class boosted decision tree model. Now click on column selector and select the class column to train it with two class boosted decision tree model. Once the training is completed we need to check the performance by adding the score model. Similar to train model add the score model and connect it to train model and second split data to the score model. Once the score model is added we need to evaluate the model for the accuracy. To evaluate the model search and add evaluate model to the experiment. Now click on save button to save the experiment and then click on run button to run the experiment model. Now right click on score model and select visualize option. Here you can see that the score label and class column are same. Now let's check the accuracy of our model. To check the accuracy right click on evaluate model and select visualize option. Here you can see the accuracy of the model. Can you explain how you predict the accuracy of the model? Sure Ravina. The accuracy is determined by developing the confusion matrix in which you need to monitor the rate of true positive and true negatives with respect to false positive and false negatives. In this case, 
the number of true positive are 131 and true negatives are 142 whereas the false positive and false negatives are 1 and 0. The accuracy is defined as the ratio of the sum of true positive and true negative values per total predicted values. Based on this formula the accuracy of this classification model can be stated as 99.6%. Now click on Setup Web Service button to set up the predictive experiment. Before deploying the experiment we have to run the predictive experiment to check for any errors. Click on Run button to run the experiment. After the running process is done click on Deploy Web Service button to deploy the experiment. John, how can I check if the model build is working properly? To check if the model build is working properly. Click on Test option to test the web service. Now click on CSV icon to enter the CSV values to test the web service. Enter the values in CSV format and click on Test Request Response button. Now let's check the test results. Here you can see that the class value is very close to the score label value. Now let's test the predictive experiment in Excel worksheet. To test the experiment in Excel worksheet go back to the deployment page and download the Excel sheet as per the requirement. Now open the Excel worksheet and select Enable Editing option. Here click on the web service to predict the data. Now click on Use Sample Data button and then click on Range Selection Macros to select the input data. Now enter the cell in which output data needs to be displayed and then click on Predict. Here you can see that the class value is same as the score label value. This proves that the model we designed is accurate. Thank you, John, for explaining as your machine learning to me. That's all for this video. For any queries please reach us at widget.reddy at sangam.ai.